In film production, portable energy storage, and various electronic devices, how are individual battery cells combined to form a functional battery capable of providing power? The key lies in series and parallel connections. So, what do they mean? Series connection links cells positive to negative, adding voltage but keeping capacity unchanged. For example, for 4.2 volts 5000 mAh cells in series give 16.8 volts total and 5000 mAh capacity, ideal for high voltage devices. However, each cell's voltage must stay balanced, otherwise, overcharge or overdischarge may occur. High voltage can also cause local heating, and poor cooling will shorten battery life. Parallel connection links cells positive to positive and negative to negative. The total voltage equals a single cell's voltage, while the total capacity is the sum of all cells. For example, for 4.2 volts 5000 mAh cells in parallel give 4.2 volts and 20,000 mAh. The main advantage of parallel connections is that they increase total capacity, extending battery runtime. Even if one cell fails, the system can continue operating. However, if the cell's capacities are inconsistent, the efficiency of the battery pack decreases and aging accelerates. Many high-performance devices require both high voltage and long runtime. In such cases, a series and parallel circuits is used. Cells are first connected in series to increase voltage, then in parallel to increase capacity. This combination balances power and runtime. With the addition of BMS protection, stability and safety are greatly enhanced. In simple terms, series determines voltage, parallel determines capacity, and together, they allow lithium batteries to meet the diverse needs of devices ranging from small electronics to large power systems.